The government, of course, claims massive gains in procurement of this uh, deal. And let's cut across to Aditi, uh, who's giving us more inputs on the submissions Aditi made by the Ministry of Defence to the CAG. If you can tell us a bit more about that. Well, the note that has now been prepared for the report, uh, the submission that has been made by the Ministry of Defence to the CAG when they were uh, asked to submit a detailed report on the Rafal deal. In that regard, uh, the uh, the government of India, in the form of the uh, Ministry of Defence, has sent a detailed report. They have the spoken about uh, as far as the specific Rafal X is concerned, what really has been uh, the estimation, what really has been the price per state has spoken about the price in scale. In fact, uh, to go further, they have also spoken about the annual offset schedule of the song aviation. So they have uh, spoken in detail about what really have been the contracts that have been signed by song aviation, what kind of money has been pulled in and all of this in, in, in the figures of your And uh, this is the official note that has been sent by the uh, Ministry of the Fed to the CAG. They also in detail speak about the number of vendors that are present with the Dassault aviation. It more or less focuses on uh, the MMRC deal as well about what really could be the price in the, uh, the first phase of 126 aircraft and what really has been the change in the 36 aircraft that have been officially purchased by the government of India. This becomes part of the official note or submission by the government of India to the AG. They also have to keep in mind uh, uh, thinking that uh, this will only be taken as a note by the CC uh, to sign the entire CC report. It is only uh, a, a supplementary note that has been given by the government of India. The entire CC report primarily will be focusing on the audit of the entire deal. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, there will be a lot more details that will come out once the CAG report actually gets submitted. But yes, this is the official submission by the Ministry of Defence to the CAG where they're clarifying that the reason why 36 Nepal aircraft is surging is because there has been a considerable a decrease in the amount of money that is being paid during the UPA regime and to compare to what the NDA government has finalised as far as the price okay. is. Okay, Aditi, can I just request you to stay with me because even as we speak to you, we are also putting out uh, those uh, those documents that we've got exclusive access to and my colleague Shikha is joining us from the news pit now. Shikha, if you can tell us a bit more about the pricing that you were referring to while Aditi was speaking and how the MOD has conveyed to the National Audit Body the kind of gains the, uh, the, the country has made as a result of this deal. Yes, Preeti, like you said, in my hands are the documents which have been submitted by the Ministry of Defence to the uh, audit body, which says that the procurement under the UP era was bought and bought for 9,502 million euros, while in under the in the UA, NDA era, those documents were bought for 7,000 over 7,889 million euros, and there is a gain of 1,612 uh, euro, million euros in the procurement. So this is the document which we have accessed from the uh, Ministry of Defence. In the document, the government claims uh, gain in the procurement of Rafael files. All right. So th th that's the stand of the Ministry of Defence while conveying uh, the details of uh, uh, the, the Rafael deal to the National Audit Body. Uh, at least uh, gains of uh, more than 1200 million euros have been uh, referred to in that note. Thanks very much, Shika, for getting us those inputs uh, from the document. And also thanks to Aditi for getting us all those details.